take a moment and picture your childhood. Most, if not all of you, probably have some fond memories of playing with other children in your neighborhood, with siblings or relatives, perhaps swimming in the summertime, or playing on sports teams. Play is an important aspect of childhood that has a tremendous influence on development. It's through these experiences that children are able to learn a variety of skills, including negotiating, problem solving, and social skills. So what happens then when children lack the motor skill proficiency that's required for them to engage successfully in active play settings with their peers? Well, research has shown that ch these children will avoid participating and subsequently miss out on important developmental opportunities, just like my friend Jacob here who has autism. In addition to challenges with social skills, communication skills, and behavior, Children with autism often have poor motor skills as well. Early motor skill interventions have been shown to improve the motor skill proficiency of children with autism. However, the secondary effects of these interventions are not well understood. And this is where my research comes in. So I interviewed eight parents of four-year-old children with autism who participated in a 12-week motor skill intervention here at UOIT. During the intervention, Children were taught basic motor skills like running, kicking, and throwing in small group settings. Parents described several benefits that were associated with the intervention. For example, improvements in their children's motor skills, social skills, listening skills, turn-taking skills, and transition skills. They also described how these child-level benefits then translated over to the family unit. So for example, improvements in children's listening skills allowed parents to feel more comfortable when taking their children out in public. And so, they began going out more often. And by going out more often, they reduced their feelings of isolation from the community and improved their family's quality of life. More research is needed to understand the secondary effects of all types of early interventions for children with autism so that clinicians can prescribe treatment plans that are best suited to the child and their family's needs. By doing so, we can help children like Jacob to view the world in a whole new light. Thank you. <laughs>